Hey guys, I'm Edward with Everything Kayak. I want to welcome you back to our YouTube channel. As always, please uh, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can get a heads up whenever we do any new videos. And uh, if you like the videos, give them a like or comment, you know, whether you want to see some other products or if you have any questions about that product. So this is going to be the Zuka 2 from Yak Attack. Uh, it is a crossover. They've done one very similar previously, and now they've got it set up with their lock and load base, which we've gone over that in some other ones, but we'll detail on some of that. What's nice, we've got the tensioner knob on the top, slides right out of the track, and we have the nice little ears on the back here that are going to help support it again with that little rubber grommet down there, which is going to really grab in. That's what's going to help us get a really secure mount on this base when it's in that rod holder or in that track for that rod holder. So a couple of the features. So this Zuka 2 has the extension in it, which is pretty handy. That gets us up. On that lock and load base, we have the availability to turn it wherever we want, and then we tension up those two knobs. So with that said, for a spinning reel application, I'll turn it around that way for you. Oh, a little more, there we go. So you can simply drop it in. If you want it a little more secure, we're gonna spin it around to there. So it's gonna catch in that little crook right there and not let us go. If we want that spinning reel up away from the water a little more or a larger spinning reel, we run it to this little notch in the back. That's gonna put it in kind of a sideways program. So pulling that all the way out, say we're running a conventional or a spin cast and we want a little bit different. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna spin everybody around a little bit we're going to use this assembly here so this is going to have a little hole so that trigger catch on a conventional reel is going to sit through that hole and that is going to give you the availability to have that reel, rod and reel secured it's got the, the fairing right back here it's going to flare out so that reel sits right on the top so very handy and even if you are swapping over you know you can easily throw a spinning in there but we want to keep in mind that this isn't going to hold it locked in like the other side so you want to make sure that you're securing that rod and reel with a tether or any other apparatus that you so choose to make sure that we don't lose our gear as you guys know if you love it leash it leash it or lose it so also with the ease of these lock and load bases we have the availability say if you want to run this as a rocket launcher easily throw it in the back lock everybody down and you have that option really cool opportunity you can move those transitioning from transporting and traveling or to actually fishing the rod so guys as always thank you again for tuning in if you have any comments throw us a comment cheers